What's going on guys, Bunks here and today I'm going to be attempting the Colossus duplication glitch again because I've seen quite a few people mention that it doesn't work anymore and that you lose all the resources that you're trying to duplicate with. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get stuck in to see if it works in the latest Sentinel update. So of course, the first thing you need for this is a Colossus. Now they are really simple to get hold of, all you need is a base computer placed anywhere literally anywhere on any planet and the Colossus summoning terminal which of course you can unlock from the construction terminal on board the anomaly so make sure you have that and you should be good to go right then because I'm not a hundred percent sure that this duplication glitch still works properly I'm only going to lob a few things into my Colossus that I'm not overly fussed by if I lose them you know a few things like salvage data, some cobalt and maybe some dirty bronze because it's worth a decent amount of money but not too much that it's disaster if I lose them. My starship AI valves will be staying well away until I can confirm that this duplication glitch still works. Now you want to go ahead and jump into your starship and then get back out of it to create yourself a save point and then head on over back to your Colossus. Jump in, move those items you placed there back into your exosuit inventory and once you've done that you want to head back over to your starship and get in but after this point absolutely do not get back out of it otherwise we'll have to start this process all over again and that's not what we want to do now is it? For those of you who are familiar with my channel, you may know what's coming next. Yep, we need to go fly out into space and summon the anomaly. And whilst we're doing that, it would be totally awesome if you guys could hit those like and subscribe buttons. Right then, when you're flying into the anomaly, open up your inventory menu and get an item ready to transfer to another player whilst flying past them. They will eventually appear in the little menu in your inventory and when you're able to pass them, their player name will, should go from red to grey. Now you may not get lucky enough to pass someone some resources on your first fly in, but don't worry, just fly back out and try then again instead. And of course, if that doesn't work, just rinse and repeat these steps until you've successfully managed to pass a resource over to another player. Of course, if you do land the anomaly, make sure that you do not get back out of your ship because as I said a second ago, you will need to start this entire process all over again. Once you've finally successfully sent another player some resources, you want to go ahead and reload the autosave you made a couple of minutes ago when you jumped out of your starship. And then once that has reloaded, check your exosuit inventory and see if those resources placed in the Colossus earlier are back there. And if you've done this the way I have, they should all be in your exosuit inventory. Now go on over to your Colossus and inspect its inventory and you should see that the resources you placed in there earlier in the video are of course still in there. And that means this Colossus duplication glitch still works as of the latest Sentinel update. Aww yeah! And there you have it folks, that is how you do a huge duplication glitch using your Colosso Exocraft. Now that we know it works, we can lob many more valuable resources in there and repeat this process as many times as you want. And as always, if you found this video useful, please hit those like and subscribe buttons so you never have to miss out on any of my future No Man's Sky videos. Thank you for watching and catch you next time.